Finally, we're going to update our app to uh, allow us to upload photos from our photo roll. Um, when you're adding an item to the menu, it can be a pain in the butt on your phone to find an image URL and paste it in. But it could be a lot easier to choose a photo from your photo roll of some food and have it upload that image to a service on the internet that then puts a URL in the box for you. You can write the details, put in the cost, and submit that instead. So let's figure out how to do it. Okay, I'm going to go back into Thunkable and open up the project I was working on. And in the last two videos, we created an app that lets us view our items that are available in today's cafeteria. It pulls the information right from our spreadsheet and it lets us add items now to that menu directly through the app. What we had to do in the past was paste an image URL here, but instead what we want to do is we want to be able to upload a photo to the internet and then have it give us the URL here. So how do we do that? We're going to use a service that is called Cloudinary to do that. Cloudinary works really well with Thunkable. It lets you upload images and automatically get back their URLs. So this could be really handy in uh, all sorts of projects. So how do we do it? You can sign up for free by clicking the sign up for free button here. Uh, their URL is cloudinary.com. Put in your name, your email address, make up a password. Don't forget your password. Uh, company or sites, select a product. Go ahead and just choose programmable media for image and let them know you're not a robot and create your account. Once you're logged in to Cloudinary, there's not a whole lot you need to do. Uh, you can click here on your dashboard though, and we're gonna use some of the information here um, in a second to make it work with Thunkable. In Thunkable, the component that uses Cloudinary is called the, the Media Database. So if you go ahead and grab the Media Database component and throw it here, on your screen. It's an invisible component, meaning it won't show up here on the screen, but down here in the bottom, you'll see the media database icon. So you can click on that to set it up. It needs three pieces of information to work. The cloud name, the API key, the and an API secret. So once you're logged into Cloudinary, you can grab these three items very easily here. Hit copy beside the cloud name, Paste that in, push copy beside the API key, paste that here, and finally push copy beside the API secret and paste that here. Now we've set up our media database Cloudinary connection and it's ready to be used. So let's do some programming. It's pretty easy to use. I'm going to go to my add item screen and I need a new button here. One that lets me search through my photo library on my phone to upload an image. So I'll go ahead and uh, just type photo uh, library and drag that component onto the screen. Again, that's an invisible component. It means it won't show up. It'll just show up with an icon down here. I'm going to jump back to the, my add item screen. We also need a button so that we can upload a photo. And I'll drag that onto my screen as well. It shows up here at the top. I'll change its name to uh, get photo button. I'll change the text to get photo. And I'm going to drag that down so that it's just under the image URL here. So go ahead and pick it up over here and drop it there so that it's in the right spot. So when we click get photo, the URL will paste automatically here. All right, so now we're going to write the code to make our choose a photo button work and have it upload automatically to the Cloudinary service and spit back a URL that then we can save in Google Sheets. Sounds complicated, but it's super easy. So let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and click on blocks 
and we have our button there called uh, what is it our get photo button so we'll go in there and we'll get our block that says get photo button when get photo button is clicked what do we want it to do well we need to go to our photo library on our phone and grab a picture so we'll click here on photo library and call photo library I'll click there and drop it there so what does that do we've used it in the past but it gets a photo so what do we want to do with that photo well if we look under our drawers here we've got our media database code drawer and we can call a function that uploads a photo so let's do that grab that and drop it in here what photo do we want to upload that's easy the photo we just selected from our photo library so i'll plug that in there and what do we want to do after we've uploaded our photo well we get a url to that photo where do we want that url to go we want it to go back here in our text box that has the image url so we go in our image text input box and we say set image text uh, image text inputs not hint but text to the url that's it that's going to upload a photo automatically to uh, cloudinary for us get the url and spit it back so let's do a live test on the phone and make sure it works here i am using the thunkable app on my phone uh, to test this out so we'll go ahead in here are options that are available in today's cafeteria menu i want to add to that menu so i push the plus button let's add a hot option let's make it a hamburger and instead of pasting a URL, we'll go ahead and get a photo. So I'm going to jump over here to Safari and take a picture. Maybe I'll just grab a screenshot here of this delicious looking hamburger. And say done. Save to my photos. Looks great. Let's hop back over here. Now, instead of pasting a URL, I'll just say get a photo. We'll grab that photo right off my photo roll. It uploads and you'll notice it spits a URL into that URL box automatically for me. Let's uh, give it a price and say submit. Oh, we could choose a date obviously also, but I'm happy with it going in today. So I'll hit submit and it loads back up. There's my hamburger. I can click on it and check out the image there. It worked great. Perfect.